This is the definitive step-by-step -step guide for working out what monitor to buy and how to quickly make the most of your 21x9 monitor once you have it. So before we go further, 21x9 or ultra-wide monitors come in predominantly two resolution options, 2560x1080 and 3440x1440. They're the ultra-wide versions of 1920x1080 and 2560x1440, two resolutions you likely have heard about before as they are 16x9 aspect ratios, the standard in 2017 for all TVs, PC monitors, etc. So deciding on a monitor is hard, there are a lot of factors to think about. So keep it simple, firstly what is your current PC build or near future PC build looking like? What components do you have? Do you have the latest GPU and CPU etc or are you leaning towards a more budget conscious rig? Depending on your power you should get a clearer idea of what resolution monitor you are looking for. To work this out, find out what GPU and graphics card you have and then watch my video on what GPU for 21x9, link to this and every other video I talk about in the description, and this will tell you exactly what resolution you should go for depending on your graphics card power. So now you know your resolution of choice. Your next step is to decide on the screen size. How big is the monitor you want? 21x9 monitors are confusing for most people when trying to picture their physical size because they're used to 16x9 monitors, so avoid that confusion. Watch my video called 21x9 is too narrow, again linked down below. This will explain how large 21x9 monitors really are, because for example, a 29 inch 21x9 monitor looks very different to a 29 inch 16 by 9 monitor. So now you're more aware of how big 21 by 9 monitors are and should have an idea of what size you want. There is one point I want those people who are currently thinking about 2560 by 1080 as their resolution just to think about. 2560 by 1080 is a low resolution and for a monitor greater than 29 inches you're really going to notice those limited number of pixels especially when sitting so close as you do with a PC. So I advise before going further if you are thinking about 2560 by 1080 on a 34 inch monitor watch my video called 2560 by 1080 on a 34 inch monitor and it'll explain explain my reservations about making this move. It's obviously still your prerogative what choice you make, but it will give you my experience on the issue. Lastly, for those of you who may be wanting 3440x1440 but don't have the power in your PC to run games at this resolution, watch my video called 2560x1080 on 3440x1440. Basically, you can run games at a lower resolution on your 3440x1440 monitor, which makes them easier to run, but there are graphical drawbacks for doing so. This video will explain it and might convince some of you that you can go to 3440x1440 instead of 2560x1080. So now you've got a new ultra-wide monitor and you want to set it up as best as possible and avoid all the learning curve stuff as much as you can. So here are the things I believe will help any of you, brand new to the 21x9 world, get going with as little difficulty as possible. Remember, everything I talk about will be linked in the description. So starting with the basics, for any Netflix, Amazon Prime or YouTube watchers, there are fantastic extensions for removing those black bars when watching 21x9 video, yet the uploader has rendered the video in 16x9, leaving you with four black bars around what should be filling your screen beautifully. So to learn how to fix this, watch my video called Chrome Firefox Best 21x9 Extensions. Further on this point, if you use the Netflix app on your computer and you're getting the black bars issue as well, I have another video called Netflix App Remove Black Bars so that you can enjoy the higher quality video that you can't get on Chrome or Firefox whilst not having to deal with the black bars. Now, for those of you watching Blu-rays on your PC, the best software I've found to use is Liaowo, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and you can check out my video called How to Watch Blu-rays for Free on PC, it's a fantastic, genuinely free tool for watching Blu-rays right away from your Blu-ray drive. So if you're not aware, my channel not only covers 21x9 discussion stuff like I've listed above, but predominantly it covers 21x9 reviews of games, so I do a video per game looking at how to get it running at 21x9, how well the game supports it, and I'll put in every other bit of info on any other bug fixes or issues that I ran into personally, and how to best overcome them. 
So if you are looking to play a game or buy a new one for your ultra wide monitor, but want to check first if you can actually run it well, check my channel and I might very well have covered it for you. Just remember to check for an updated link in case a video has been updated. For example, Fallout 4 has been updated like four times since I originally covered it. The updated link will be at the top of the description of the old video, so it should be easy to see. Now, for those of you who might not totally understand all of the 21x9 stuff you hear, you have two options for getting up to speed. As with everything on my YouTube channel, all the videos are in clear playlists. And discussion videos, the videos where I talk about things like 2560x1080 versus 3440x1440, have their own playlist, so you can just browse everything there. Your alternative is to head over to my website and every video has its own article with full text transcript for the video and other resources, so head over there if that sounds more like your thing. There is a full discussion video link master list on the homepage as well, so you don't have to browse for the individual pages yourself. Another point to note, for those emulator lovers, yes, there are indeed ways to make those emulators ultra-wide. I've covered both the Project 64 and Dolphin emulators and plan to do others, so keep in mind it's all possible. If you want to get into content creation, then check out my videos called How I Record and Edit and NVIDIA Shadowplay How to Use. These videos should be a good starting point for any of you unsure of where to begin. It would be lovely to get more ultra-wide content out there, so the more of you creating, the better. And that's it. I think that should get you quickly on the road to making the most out of your 21x9 monitor. Give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for future info. If any of the games are 21x9, head over to my channel or the Widest Fuck website. Hope you'll have covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon page are in the description and Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later.